Documents released from 2018 show there were multiple major issues with Champlain Towers building. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker has been looking into the documents. Marilyn, do we know if this contributed to the collapse? Janice, it's just too early to tell. We also don't know if any of the issues in this nine page report were ever taken care of. The report does say that there were issues reported in the court documents or in the reported documents from 40 years ago. Major structural damage, systemic issues, and major errors all listed in a 2018 structural report of the Champlain Tower South. The Surfside condo collapsed Thursday, resulting in four deaths and 159 people missing. Search and rescue operations is what we're focusing on. We still haven't come across anything along the sign of life. It's unclear if what's listed in the report contributed to the collapse. Morabito Consultants Incorporated submitted the report in October 2018. They said the main issue with the building structure is the entrance drive pool deck planter. Waterproofing is laid on a flat surface, causing water to sit on the waterproofing until it evaporates. They called it a major error in the development of the original contract put together 40 years ago. The consultants also noted replacing the waterproofing would be expensive, disruptive, and create a major disturbance to the condo occupants. The report includes pictures of typical cracking and spalling in parking garage columns. Though some of the damage is minor, most of the concrete needed to be repaired in a timely fashion. This year was the 40-year mark for the building to be recertified. Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava directed an audit of all buildings at their 40 years, making sure their recertification was completed. Uh, we want to do swift, swift move swiftly to remediate any issues that may have been identified in that process. So we're going to conduct this audit within the next 30 days, and we are beginning right now. The mayor says they didn't know about the 2018 report released overnight. She says the priority right now is finding the 159 people unaccounted for. We tried calling more Beetle consultants for a comment, but we haven't gotten a response yet. Tonight on News for Jacks at 10, I speak with a forensic engineer about this report and what the 40 year recertification could mean. We're live in Jacksonville, Maryland Parker Channel 4, the local station.